Welcome to Vinsire Studios. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to clean up your mic audio with using the RN Noise plugin that can be used on any computer. So let's get this started. Before we get this going, I want to go over the previous video which I had done which was while you're playing Horizon Zero Dawn to help you actually play it a little bit better inside OBS. You can find that linked in the corner up here or in the description below. And as with any of my videos, anything I go over in here, you can also find links to download them right in the description below. With that out of the way, let's get this moving. So where should we get this started? I guess the best way to start it out at would be of course the original GitHub repository from uh, Zith. And how does he describe RN noise? Well, it's a suppression library based on recurrent neural networking, so it's supposed to be an AI type training for it to cut out any of the noise in the background. So all you pick up is just really there's the person talking and their voice. Like when I'm typing out the keyboard and so forth, it uh, you won't be picking that up. Now this isn't, of course, to be confused with the RT uh, voice from NVIDIA based RTX cards. Now if you have that, honestly, I suggest you use that. From what I've seen, that's honestly a bit higher quality than this. This one uh, just uses the CPU and uh, so forth. You could have this also set up specifically inside like open broadcaster software or Audacity or any other kind of program that you could potentially use for audio or video recording. This will work for every single one of them and you do not have to change any settings. The whole point of this is now you can use this type of technology on any type of uh, system that includes uh, for you know Intel, AMD, it's all on the CPU. You don't have to worry about the graphics at all, and uh, you'd be able to help clean up your audio from say a laptop and so forth without using the uh, very damaging noise suppression inside advanced settings. Now in the description below, you'll find the primary project, which uh, I have a couple links in there. One will take you to the uh, main changes from Wormen who uh, does all of this stuff and has set it up for say Linux Windows and is it even on uh, for me even on a uh, Mac OS but it looks like it states you have to compile the library yourself and he goes through here on how to get that all set up now I'm doing this on a Windows based system so that's what I'm going to be covering obviously here for today so one of them is Again, the uh, direct link to the Worm and GitHub page, and the other one will be for the direct download section. So, what you're going to want to do is, of course, go to the download section and get the RN Noise plugin for if you got a 32 bit system or the 64 bit version. Once you get that downloaded, go ahead and extract that. But we're going to need one other program on top of it. Now, they have that right in there from the primary. Um, page for the noise suppression about where to go for this and that is the Apo equalizer downloader now you can use these VSTs and things inside like voice meter or the uh, other program which it is a uh, what cantable now there's a reason why I specifically use the Apple and the one they uh, recommend though primarily because I have a Behringer Euphoria UM2 I've looked all over, this thing has zero ASIO virtualization or capabilities that I've seen. Maybe I'm wrong, let me know in the in the uh, comments and things like that, you know. Who, who knows, I'm probably wrong, I'm not an audio expert in any stretch of the imagination. I dabble more in, uh, well, video. <laughs> so, once you get that downloaded, you're going to be opening up specifically the uh, not the configurator editor, but the configurator itself. So find the equalizer Apple inside uh, your Windows Start menu, then click on configurator and it'll bring up a nice little uh, window here and it'll show playback devices and capture devices. Now, you're going to have to be focusing on is capture devices. Now you want to obviously have a capture your specific microphone. So click the uh, capture devices tab, click on the um, microphone you'd be using. Uh, I'm trying to remember, it may come up with a warning or whatnot, because I already have it enabled on mine, I'm not seeing it. Just click yes or whatnot and then close, and it'll ask you to restart your system. 
So obviously reboot your whole system and uh, for this to fully take effect. Once you load up the configuration editor, you know, no matter how much I've looked through these things and whatnot, it, this never goes away. It always pops up says it's not set up to the proper device. If you click yes, it'll bring up the configurator again. Obviously capture devices you see here, it's already uh, been installed. <laughs> So, I don't know if this is just an error that they need to fix in the future. Hopefully it gets resolved later on. Who knows? But there's no way to just like completely disable it. Now, when you first load this up, on yours it'll look a bit different. You're going to uh, notice that you've got the graphics equalizer, I believe the included text, and then also uh, the beginning of uh, setting this up. It's got a uh, preamp at negative six. So. You can see I removed that and I have a bunch of things to set up on here. Now, this is very easy to work with. First off, you're going to have to find where the VSTs are. Now, if you still have it in your downloads folder, I would recommend taking it and then installing it into your C drive under program files and then under the VST section inside Windows 10. And then you just put it in there and select where it is because what it'll do is it'll ask you where it is installed but in order to get it added first off you're going to have to click the plus button go to plugins and then VST plugin as you see it'll bring this up like you see here and that'll uh, just have an empty layout all you're going to click is this button say here and you're going to find uh, where your VSTs are and then you're going to select uh, which ones you want now you can see I already have this uh, added so obviously I'm not going to add it back into here. You can also see I have a bunch of others in here as well and I think these all complement each other pretty nicely and all of these are free to get. They are linked in the description below or you can find them pretty easily if you uh, do a search. It's a uh, free 87 like FR this is a gate so on top of my noise suppression which I have going first which you should always have going first because each order of these uh, actually does matter it's kind of like layers in like say Photoshop or when you're video editing with different uh, video tracks and so forth the one on top now that's kind of the difference I guess compared to like video editing or like Photoshop is the one on above it comes first so, like the equalizer here is first but it's not enabled so that's not obviously going to do anything, but anything preceding underneath it changes what happens. So all of them together, I have the RN noise here. I also have, as you see here, a gate control, which this one specifically uh, controls when to allow actual audio to go through. So anything below 40 dB on here will not go through obviously release it'll uh how long it stays open to in case something else comes through and so forth and it'll slowly let it go so if you have it too tight drop it a little bit you don't need to move it that much it should be pretty fine where it is and then on top of it a compressor so that my audio is more or less around the same volume you can see how i have mine specifically set up on here and uh, the final one is a limiter. This limiter means it'll keep it from going over the audio limit that you have a set to. This is set to negative 6 dB. If uh, you're able to see it inside my OBS, you'd see that once it hits negative 6, if it hits negative 6, because it really doesn't, it will not allow the audio to get any louder for you so it doesn't blow out your ears or something like that. <laughs> but. These all augment the RN noise quite well, I feel. Now, one of the easiest tests to do for this is like typing on your keyboard. So I'm gonna just be typing on my keyboard and you really shouldn't, nothing should be picked up. And I'm gonna go quiet for this. Then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to disable each of these and you should Pick, be picking up the keyboard to be kind of clickety clack quiet. I maybe I'll raise up the volume for just a tiny bit so you can hear it, but you should hear it. So um, I'm going to start typing now. 
actually, to uh, show this a uh, bit better, I'm going to load up LibreOffice Writer. <laughs> you shouldn't just take my word for it. You should see me babbling on uh, my keyboard, right? As you see, nothing is uh, popping on up, or you can hear on the audio, it's completely cut out. I'm banging the space bar because I figured I'd get that to be loud. Alright, so I did quite a bit just banging on that, so... Um, each of these are going to be disabled, as you can see on the analysis panel, that changed uh, a bit, and those, I, I'd be guessing the analysis panel is specifically for, uh, checking the decibel levels, yeah, that's exactly what it is, and if you go above 0 dB, this thing, uh, will actually show the thing in red, I'll display that, uh, in a quick second, but let's get back on over here and start typing again. Now, this isn't perfect. Obviously, I guess nothing truly is. I mean, RT voice is impressive. Watching uh, Epos Vox take a uh, <laughs> vacuum cleaner <laughs> and sucking on its face at the end there just definitely you know drive home the point that it is on <laughs> but it cuts out like everything it's great so like sudden loud noises it will pick up like this cup here but it shouldn't blow out your ears or something like that it shouldn't be too overly uh harsh on you even like clapping and so forth so i guess that's really all to cover for this one um oh no that's right i said if i was going to show you that if uh apple goes over uh 0 dB, the thing goes red, so, uh, we'll put you to 15. Hit apply, see? <laughs> the whole thing goes red. It's like, uh-uh. You don't do that. That's bad. <laughs> Alright, so this is a bit of fun to do. This section right here is I got this set up on my laptop so that it'll work properly. I was going to show you the difference between the general noise suppression and, uh, using the RN noise, I'll probably have to fully disable the RN noise suppression I found out in order to uh, have just what in general Windows does with a uh, microphone. Now the whole purpose and reason for this is for some reason when you set up Apo it completely <laughs> it takes over the uh, noise reduction that you would be seeing on the laptop itself. Now right now I have that completely off as you can uh, undoubtedly hear from here this but I need to uh, get a setup so you're seeing the microphone properties <laughs> and uh, not two of these because that's not uh, what it's supposed to be let's get that fixed there we go so there's the uh, audio properties you can see on the uh, microphone itself now I'm going to enable this and you're gonna lose the audio of seeing jumping in uh, audacity I'm gonna have to disable and re-enable that real quick as well so let me enable from here really froze uh, the thing on audacity but here it is the uh, filters from Apple are working and I'll just do a quick record test and as you see it I'll uh, cut it on out so anything around isn't happening of course I have the other enhancements on I'll turn one of I'll turn off the uh, limiter at least, so you can see that. 
So we need to go back on Apple right here. No, not the limiter, the gate. So the gate's off, which is kind of funny. It kind of pumped that up just a tiny bit. So we'll drop this back down to zero and hit apply. That'll bring it right back down into a general lining. But you can see even without the gate, Nothing's going through. I'm typing, I'm typing. <laughs> I can't see what's going on in Audacity, so. Yeah, it really doesn't, it doesn't pick it up. I had a little blip on there for typing, but it was a very, very tiny one, but it seems to cut everything out quite nicely. Now I'm gonna uninstall a bunch of this and see if I can get the just generic garbled audio room, you know, noise cleanup that you'd usually get from a laptop and I'll be right back. I got this up to a capture desktop now, so there's that. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that I had it all set up properly for you guys to see. Go here. You can see the enable audio enhancements are on, but these are different from uh, the usual ones from Windows. Well, actually the default ones from Windows because I removed Apple completely from my system. Like you'll notice when I start typing, you're gonna hear it all. And probably there's some generic distortion along with it. I haven't checked out the any pre-test footage. So we'll see as I go, you'll see I'm gonna start typing up, go quiet for like five seconds or not even like two seconds and uh, just start going hammering away at the uh, keyboard. So as you can see, it's still moving on the bars and audacity. It's not cutting out the keyboard with whatever I'm doing. And like I said, this should be the, just the general way of uh, Windows or the software with your microphone to be uh, on a laptop for doing the generic cleanup. And it's not going to be nearly as good as the uh, RN noise enhancements with through Apple and so forth. Yeah, um, I'd say that pretty much shows what it is. All right, I'd have to say that this concludes the video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoy the content that's on here, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a good day.